Hello families and welcome to a flipperific math lesson with Mr. Hurley. Today's flipped lesson is all about elapsed time. What is elapsed time you may ask? Well, here's some key important vocabulary for the lesson. Elapsed time is the time that passes from the beginning to the end of an event. So for example on the clocks it's 8.22. The second clock says about 10.10. 10. So elapsed time is asking how much time has passed between 8.22 and about 10.10. So students can go ahead, you can press the pause button and write that important vocabulary word down. Some other reminders for, voc for vocabulary. Hour hand, the hour hand is the short hand. The minute hand is the long hand hand. And an easy way to remember that is our is shorter than the word minute. So you can think of it that way. The hour hand is the shorter hand and it's the shorter word. Then one hour equals 60 minutes and a half hour is equal to 30 minutes. Students can go ahead and pause the video and write any of those reminders down. <clears throat> so, modeling of the process. So, Logan has hockey practice after school. Practice begins at 5 p.m. and lasts for 90 minutes. Nigel wants to meet Logan at 7 p.m. for dinner, 10 minutes away. Will Logan be able to meet Nigel on time when we're solving problems, one of the strategies we want to use is called the RISE strategy. The R is for read the problem, which I've just done. I've read the problem. Mr. Hurley, I always like to say, first time's a freebie. It doesn't count. The first time I'm reading the problem, it's just to figure out what the words say. So I want to read it again to make sure it's sinking in and I'm understanding what's being said. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Logan has hockey practice after school. Practice begins at 5 p.m. and lasts for 90 minutes. Nigel wants to meet Logan at 7 p.m. for dinner, 10 minutes away. Will Logan be able to meet Nigel on time? So the I in I stands for identify keywords and information. Uh, again, Mr. Hurley, the way I like to start is let's retell the story problem. It's a story problem. So just like in reading, we retell the story. Let's retell it in math when it's a story problem. And keep out all the numbers, just thinking about the situation, what's happening. So what do I know? It's about two students, Logan and Nigel. Logan has his hockey, hockey practice, and Nigel wants to meet Logan after practice for dinner. Logan's gonna, going to have to travel a little bit to get there. So the question is, will Logan be able to meet Nigel on time? So what do I know? I know when practice starts, and I know how long it lasts, but I don't know what time it ends yet, so I need to figure that out. And then I know that there's a little travel time after practice to the restaurant. Time to solve. So strategy that I'm suggesting is using a timeline. Using a timeline when we're dealing with elapsed time. So I would start drawing my timeline. I need a beginning and an end point. So in this problem, do I know what time we begin with? Yep, yeah, it says practice begins at 5 p.m. So my first mark is 5 p.m. Do I know what time everything ends at? Let's see, Nigel wants to meet Logan at 7 p.m. for dinner which is 10 minutes away. So 7 p.m. would be when everything ends. Like I don't want to go past 7 p.m. So now, first thing I have to figure out is, well, when does the practice end? Practice lasts for 90 minutes. So I have to 
do a little uh, transferring there. 90 minutes, if I'm looking at hours and minutes, I, I know from my reminders that one hour equals 60 minutes. So that's at least one more hour. So from 5 p.m., 60 minutes is one more hour. And I would have 6 p.m. And that's 60 of those minutes. So 60, 70, 80, 90. So that leaves 10, 20, 30. 30 more minutes. So from 6 p.m., 30 minutes later would be a half hour. So 6, 30. Okay, am I finished? Let's see, Nigel wants to meet Logan at 7 p.m. for dinner. 10 minutes away. Okay, so I still need some more travel time of 10 minutes. Well, 6.30, 10 more minutes would be 6.40. Will Logan be able to meet Nigel on time? So my answer would be, Yes. Logan will be able to meet Nigel on time because he would be there at 640. He'd actually be early. The last step in RISE strategy is E, examine and explain. Does it make sense? So let's go back and check that. Well, I know that Logan began practice at 5 p.m. Um, from my reminders, one hour is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes and 60 minutes for two hours would make 120 minutes. So I know that the practice is between one hour and two hours. So practice ends somewhere between six and seven. And I see that, yep, ended at 6.30. 10 more minutes uh, to drive, 6.40. That, it checks out for me, it does make sense. So I'm ready to move on. Now it's a practice problem. Michael has football practice and homework to do tonight. He also wants to watch his favorite television show. Football practice begins at 6 p.m. and lasts an hour and a half. Homework will take 50 minutes to complete. Michael's show begins at 8 p.m. Will Mike be able to watch the show tonight? The suspense. Ah. So now is the time where the students, you can in your homework, uh, in your flipping notebook, you're gonna go to the practice section. Remember to use your RISE strategy. We read the problem, identify keywords and information, solve, solve using the timeline strategy. But if you do have another way to solve it, I would love it if you could also share that with us and have that ready for tomorrow. Uh, the last box, any questions or other ideas that you wanted to write down to share with us, that would be fantastic. So good luck and stay tuned for another flipperific math lesson with Mr. Hurley.